Alright guys, welcome back. Check this out. Now today I was driving home on 111 back through Palm Desert and this has kind of happened before in terms of verbalizations and stuff, but today I was driving home and there was this old man driving like a red Cadillac SUV who was gang stalking me. He was just like really riding my bumper and then he just flew by me and then just like cut right in front of me like he swerved in and out of traffic and then he got back over to the right and then I drove as I was approaching up to him on the side uh, he was flashing his gun from inside the car at me he wasn't just flashing it he was just he was also pointing it through his uh, slightly tinted driver's side window from inside the car and it just amazes me what these perps will go to to try to bring fear into God's chosen. And it's not something that it's new to me. I'm not surprised. I was, um, you know, it, it was it was something new in terms of the physical, but I'm not really surprised. I've, you know, overheard Masons in the past. You know, there was a time when I was parked in a parking lot and there were Masons talking and they're like, oh, do you got your gun? Yeah, I got my gun. Like they were always like, you know, and these dudes, they'll go to any lengths, and they're so corrupt. It's like, these dudes are hiding something, you know? And so that was my, that was kind of the excitement for the day, is, is the lengths that these people will go to. And so, yeah, it's like the gall that these people have to gang stalk, but then there's something about them. There's something where they're in a tremendous amount of fear, where they know what they're doing is criminal, by the way. It is a criminal activity. It is breaking the law. Although it's... It, it's not being prosecuted yet. Uh, there will come a time when, you know, that's, it's, it's, God's going to have enough and his judgment will come in, his divine judgment. And so it's not really anything new to me. They're just trying to get at me. But the fact is, is that I just don't have any fear of anything. I was laughing at the guy when he was waving his gun at me. Like he wasn't going to do anything. Like, even if he did, I don't even care. Like, I'm just like, I'm on another level. Of, you know, from what these perps are doing. They live in so much fear that you're doing a criminal activity that requires you to carry a firearm for the, the illicit activity that you're doing, you know. And this old man was, he, I could tell he was in fear. He, was, he didn't know what to do. And he was just like, it was funny because he was just not even, it's like, you want to go out and gang stalk me and then, you know, try to show me that you have some kind of power? I bet you do that. That's the last thing you'd want to try to do is use that on me. There would be repercussions to that in the spirit as well as in this world. So don't even, don't even try to flash your firearms at me. That's not going to change who I am, you know. And so I understand what these people are trying to do, but they're, they live in constant fear. And I'm not going to succumb down to that level, you know. So, you know, just in case, you guys will know it's probably the Masons, you know, these, these people that are doing these criminal acts. And it's... It's kind of, especially in Palm Desert, it's these older types that are, they're, they act like children, you know, doing that. And I could see what the guy was doing. He was gang stalking me first, and then, it, then, it, then he was treating me like it was my fault. Like he was, he was, you know, and so it's happened before where you see these, these immature Masons that, you know, it's the Freemasons doing that shit too. You do, it's that, you know, and so... It'll catch up with them, you know. Be careful, you know, flashing your firearms around me. That might not go too well for you, you know. So, just putting that word of caution out there. I know, you know, the, the, and today it was just like, I don't know about you guys, but in my, in my situation sometimes, when I podcast a certain video, when I put something out in the, in the, in the shirt shop, when I you know, download certain articles on health or whatever and put them on Facebook or whatnot. I just never know what the day will bring the next day, you know. And so for me, we're always under that stress. But but I don't know. I feel like here it, there is a tension in the air. These perps are everywhere. They're like all over Palm Springs and Palm Desert. And so, you know, it's it's just... And it's just gotten that bad this year where... They, I can tell that these dudes, they want to disappear me. But, you know, in the spiritual realm, they don't have God's permission. 
from the place of his high court, I can tell these dudes want to disappear me, but they have no they have no spiritual authority to do so. There will be repercussions in the spirit if they try to break the rules of God's high court. So they just ah, uh, you know, it's just I can't even explain what kind of high <laughs> this gets me on <laughs> to want to talk about it. To, to not so much to I'm I'm gonna title this kind of I'm gonna title this one live to tell it like live to tell it or something live to tell about it I don't know but just be careful out there guys because that's what um, when they are super scared of the Holy Spirit in your life and, and the fact that you you have stepped into your power they're not only constrained by a high amount of fear in society they'll go to any lengths to try to show it now obviously. I don't fear the gun, you know. I actually don't own one either, so um, I'm on top right now. I'm on top of this game. There's, I already know that there is spiritual repercussions. And actually, they're, they, they're not only breaking the law, um, God's not going to let it slide in his high court. And, and I just thank God for that every day, that I have his, his holy witness and his holy protection um, that he allows me to make it through each day. And being able to c contribute to this community. And, and to be honest, guys, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, be careful, and I'm really careful. I document like crazy. I make sure I just get plate number after plate number of who these people are, um, and I do it the right way, you know? Um, because what they're doing is illegal, you know? And when you have these you have these people gang-stalking you, and, care, and, and, and carrying loaded firearms when, as they're gang-stalking you, um, that is telling you um, what measure they will go to. And also, what society is coming to. Society is just falling apart. And so you're seeing um, the decay of, of, of morality. The, the decay of, you know, and you're, and, and we're losing what it is just to be a man, to, to, you know, to be a man, to be in right standing with God, you know, we don't have that anymore. We're the last hope here, guys, because God has made it apparent that the Holy Spirit resides with us. And so I know, I, I, I know you guys might just say, be careful. And I want to reassure you guys that, um, I document everything correctly and, and everything is done according to the books. I haven't broken the law. I haven't um, gone above and beyond or out of my way. I've stayed in my lane. I'm focused on God. And um, unfortunately, see, the targeting, it happens to a lot of women, though. A lot of women are targeted, so they have different methods to, to, to try to corral them into obedience. But the men are a little bit different. And when you're talking about me, they'll go to different lengths as well. They have to try, they're trying to show some type of physical superiority because they lack manhood. They lack the spirit man. They're, they're empty vessels. So, yeah, I'm on guard spiritually by that. They have no power over me. They can't control me. So that's why they're gang stalking me. But I, I want to put it out there that what they're doing is illegal, by the way, too. Um... I know these. I know these kind of dudes. They're carrying loaded firearms, which is illegal, by the way. They're probably not even holstered correctly by California state law. Uh, law enforcement probably doesn't care. So, um, law enforcement doesn't want to hang out around me, though, because I'll just report them right to their own. They don't want to hang out around me, so they don't. But they get that neighborhood watch to go follow me around town and stuff. So. Yeah, well, I see what they're. I see what they're up to. It's all. It's all illegal. It's there's 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 definitely criminal activity going on, um, and I'm not really even about necessarily exposing that. I'm just about overcoming this world. And then see, to Satan, that's enough. If you're about overcoming this world, then to them it's still a threat in the spirit. It's like they're being exposed still, and so I'm just staying in my lane. I'm so. These people are these people are like adamant about like trying to get at targeted individuals, you know, people like myself. Um, I'm not even. I think with the encouragement of you guys though as well, just staying in my lane and having God allow me to bear those fruits, to bear that witness, 
by staying on the straight and narrow, that's the best advice you can have is, especially if you're a guy like me, like I don't fear anything. I don't even fear any weapon, any, I don't fear nothing. So I got to be careful to make sure I'm reverent of God. I have that reverence that I don't just, uh, I, God is my corrector. He corrects me, you know, and so I just live to tell it, if you will. But nonetheless, I think you guys have been very encouraging to, you know, keep me in my lane with God, keep me on that straight and narrow, and, and look to God. And that's really what it's all about, is I'm so keen on, on, on pursuing God and, and my relationship with God right now, in the spirit, that this worldly stuff, he just protects me from this worldly stuff. It doesn't matter what they do. I know that they'll, they'll try to handle guys differently than women, though. And, and to some respects, they try. And really, when they begin to lose powers, because when they gang stalk and then the target starts going to Christ and goes to God, that's when you're finding out why God would allow that, you know. And they don't like that either. They think they're doing... See, what they're doing is, is they're trying to keep people from the truth, by, but by the very inverse nature of what they're doing in terms of the isolation, they're, they're in a sense, driving people to God. The only way, when you feel cornered, actually becomes the way. It becomes the cornerstone, almost, in a sense. And a very... Um, I think you guys know what I mean. When you when they when they back you into a corner and then you realize, hey, wait, God is allowing this. Um, it's the only way now, and that that is the way. That is the cornerstone. Um, that's what they end up doing, you know. Don't and they're gonna let they're 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 gonna do that, and and they're, Satan's gonna keep his own deceived, and God is gonna allow Satan to keep his own deceived all the while, promoting you to election, promoting you to his good graces, promoting you uh, to the only way, the straight and narrow. So be blessed, guys. And uh, I'm definitely very encouraged about anything that you guys will may comment on and, and advice that you give. But um, nonetheless, it's just another day. It's just another day in, you know, in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's just, you know, and it, I think they're just, they're, that with the time in this year, it's, it's, it's just like, wow, they're really trying to get at certain, and it's probably, it's still most targeted, and it's not going to stop, you know, so, um, I just want to note that as a document, a verbalized document, and I wish I would have taken a picture of this guy flashing his firearm from his vehicle, um, dang it, and I would have posted that, I would have been so empowered to post that, but I think God wants me to continue in focusing on him more so than, than, than just the building up the evidence for the for the world that will turn a blind eye to it anyways it doesn't really matter you know but long as i let you guys know i think it's good enough in the spirit so until the next one guys stay blessed more to come and uh godspeed i love you guys take care